Yes. We are back at the Chateau. We had a nice little vacation away. But you can only spend so much time running around. 30 more days. Running around uh, in what's supposed to be underground mine tunnels. And as we have determined, um, no. Anyway, as I was saying, as we have determined, kind of like one mine is very much like all the others. So there really isn't much difference when you're running through them and <clears throat> excuse me, seeing the same things. So anyway, um, and then as for the other world with that really messed up uh, village. Oh, that's nice. Um, I have decided that we're not going to invest much time there. We really need to invest our time here in this world where we are established. And I kind of have a plan. If it happens, it'll shock me. Um, because as I've said, I'm, I'm flighty this way. I get bored kind of easily and I like starting over. So I'll drop this game in a second and go start another world somewhere else. But my plan is to make the chateau the home and not so much industry going on here. I may have a small farm, which we've got there, and we might do some tinkering. But as far as massive production, this, we're gonna move all of this. Somewhere we're going to build an ironworks or metalworks or ore works or whatever we decide to call it a very large building where all of this kind of work is done. I would like to, at the moment I'd like to find some boards, I would like to um, set up a very large garden somewhere. where all of the food production is done. Um, do I have any sticks? No, of course not. And part of the reason Oh, okay. We've forgotten how to do this already. Yeah. Remember? Signs? Okay, it's two boards. Oh, it's two boards. And one stick. Okay, that's not working. Why is this not working? Oh, golly. Look at these. Does this look the same? Somebody needs to um, sink some of these things because that ain't right. Anyway, I want to stop doing production at home and move all the production out to um, other areas, like to villages and things like that. All right, is that the chest I made? I could have swore I had another chest here. Oh, that's the one. Um, I want them for in here. Um, yeah, where would you like to put them? I don't know. Let's put them right here.
All right, there we go. Yeah, I'm going to put all the, um, the ore and stuff in there. So I've got it all here in my pockets. The ingots are here. So we're going to uh, grab a hammer. And uh, break some of these chunks and see what we've got. This is iron. This is sink. Mm, lead. Okay. What was that? Crushed coal. Yeah, I haven't a clue what we'll be doing with that. Like with a lot of these things, I have not, I've not used them. I don't know what their uses are. It'll be interesting to get to that point where we learn some of these things. All right, let's get all these things in the proper places. Right now we're mainly focused on copper and tin. And we've got a fair bit of that, so... Iron, silver, tin, iron, lead, and zinc. Okay. We should find some more copper. Now, isn't there something about the, um, the chains? You can break them or something? Oh, they smelt into ingots. We have quite a bit there then. Okay. We'll have to give that a try. All right, feels like we just got back here and it's already getting dark. Oh, let's go put this saw back up on the wall. So anyway, I want to um, go back to the nearest village. We should put some food in there. And see if we can uh, set up a cattle ranch, very much like my Enripos cattle ranch. And that will be where we get um, our meat. Let's see, what should we cook? We've got some red meat and a brain. Hmm. I don't know if I can do... Yeah, I don't know if I can do, um, what would it be? I think it has to be equal numbers. I'm not sure. So I think we can only do one brain, one meat. I don't know. Let's grab some stuff here and see what happens. Mm, some mushrooms. All right, let's go see what kind of combination we can... Put together. Yeah, I was thinking maybe um, if I did two brains on a or two meat on a brains. Nope, we can only do it that way. All right, so we'll do an onion and a mushroom. There we go. One serving of brain stew. What are you eating? Stop it. We also need to go and get some more peat. Need to make a grocery list. Um, let's see. Anyway, I don't remember if I finished my thought. I want to set up a place where the food is grown and cooked and so we're not doing so much cooking here, running around looking for things. 
We'll have one central location where all this stuff is taken. All the harvests are taken to this one location. And we can go there and cook anything and everything. It'll all be stored there. And then we just go there and get what we need. Kind of like a grocery store, but more of a um, production of different foods. Wow, that was quick. Let's grab a bowl. I don't think we're going to eat this right now, but we're definitely going to put it away. Anyway, so that kind of takes care of meat. So we'll have a cattle ranch. I don't know if we'll do um, eggs at the same place. Um, I hadn't really give this a lot of extensive thought. Just kind of going with the same idea that I had. Um, you know, save, uh, I don't know, two or three, four times ago. Things change. What is this? Medium fertility. Um, things in this game for me change whenever there's big updates or when they change versions. I've seen some people who's... What is going on back here? Are you serious? Did you kill my person? You killed my person. You, sir, are dead. Now we need a herbologist. Herbalist? Oh, this stinks. Because there's not much I can do with her. She just has to stay there and wither away. Really? Nothing. Nothing to put toward the service, the funeral. Nothing for her family. Nothing. Okay, I think that's probably why we need double fences. All right. Now I'm just angry and I'm going to take it out on you. I finally get a worker who doesn't want to escape. And these little guys killed her. Um, where's the rest of my people? You people aren't dead, are you? Nope. Alright, we're still missing one. In the bedroom, maybe? Yes, hi there. Okay. Let's see what's around over here. Hmm. I don't really want to get a herbalist because we don't have a need for them beyond taking care of our dead people or bringing our dead people back to life. I don't want to keep doing that. Okay, you're not going to fall, are you? There we go. All right. I'm really sorry. But you should probably know that this is the way things are done. Okay, now we're stuck. I can't place a block because I don't have enough empty space. There we go. All right. Yeah, that stinks. Now we need a headstone and a hoe. Pretty sure we have a hoe. I don't know if we have a headstone. Um, who was that? Did anybody notice? 
I think it was Hedwig. But can't be sure. Um. Yeah, I thought I had a headstone here somewhere. There it is. And we're looking for a hoe, and that should be on the wall. Maybe. No guarantee. I do not see one. So where would it be? Hmm. I know I had one. Yeah, there it is. Okay, let's put these things back. We are going to put the headstone outside of the garden because this space is a little, uh, a little bit valuable. Um, I need to look at who the other people are and then that'll tell me who that was. Now this should be Pippin. Yes. And this is Tasia. So it was Hedwig. Brave little thing. Fought those monsters right here through the fence. There we go. My people are dropping like flies. Where are my other headstones? I know they're out here. I saw them earlier today. Oh, here we go. There's one. Um, I also went and tried to find Baggins. Still, no sign. No sign of him. I have no idea what happened to him. Um, did we not have a seed here? Or do I just lose that? If I break it before it uh, matures. Don't know. Okay. Yeah, as I was saying, I went looking for Baggins. Nothing. I, yeah, I spent a lot of time out there looking. I, I have no idea what happened to him. I didn't see a body, a skeleton, nothing. I'm going to put the uh, hoe in here. If I ask, just remind me that's where I put it. Still no female cows wandering around over here. Which is why we have to have our, uh, our cattle ranch somewhere. Alright, do we have food cooking? We do. Let's take that. And I picked this one up. Yep, that one's done. What is this? This is two servings. Oops. Nope. Okay. There we go. Put that in the cabinet. Put this food away. Right, let's eat our brain stew. It's only one serving. See where our, our line is here? Let's see how much it fills us up. All the way, and there's still some left. Brain stew. That's the way to go, folks. Okay, so I think I've confused your, you and me about our plan. Um, who is this and what are they doing over here? Pippin was over here. 
Did a monster come back and make him move? Don't be dead, dude. Can't really afford back-to-back -back funerals here. Stay away from the edge of the fence. Okay, Pippin. Yeah, he's okay. Anyway, as I was saying, we're both confused now about the plan. So, oh, there we go. I think what I have to do is kind of just sit down and plan it out. And we need to find uh, or create villages that can accommodate our needs. Because if I'm going to put like um, a big garden somewhere and a big kitchen and a grocery store type of setup, I want, I want people running around. And I want people who will stay there, not wander away and abandon the whole idea. I'm curious if there's any, uh, any activity going on down here. I don't hear anything. Nope. Yeah, I think it's, uh... Might be too bright down here for, uh... Any of the drifters to come visiting. So we may have solved that issue. Yeah, they still live out here though. Anyway, but yeah. See, a place like this would be kind of cool. If I could find another one nearby and turn that into our, uh, our metal works. And if I could figure out a way to, um, I don't want to use the word trap villagers within the walls, but essentially trap the villagers so they stay in this area and do their job because we have smiths. So, and if I put the tables down, maybe they'll stay there. I do know that there are some doors they can't use and they can't they can't get past gates so I could use those to kind of um, keep them in place so just some ideas but like I said I gotta sit down and think about the plan and then we definitely have to find villages nearby because I would have to visit often to make sure that everything is, you know, running fluid, smoothly, consistent. Because I still think there's that suspended animation thing. You know, you get far enough away and everything stops. Production stops. Crops stop growing. Things like that. All right, so we have a village here and we have one here and it's entirely possible there could be a couple down in this area. So there's one here. Yeah, we already know that, let's see, this one here is good for resin. So we would have to travel up there if we needed resin. So yeah, just an idea. Otherwise, and I've said it before, you set up your, your base, if people call it, right here, and you produce everything right here, and you get so busy doing everything and maintaining everything that you cease to travel. My idea is to move all the production away so that I have to travel. Anyway, 
That's kind of the idea. Yeah, I'm still thinking of a double fence back here. Keep the monsters from doing that again. Anyway, I'm going to call it a day here. It's, it's been very eventful. Oh yeah, I told you I went looking for Baggins. I found Violante and um, Lambert. They are out in their perspective spots. I just didn't find Baggins. Anyway. Maybe on another day. We'll be back.